Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andromedus, and in this video, we're going to be talking about buying coffee on a budget and brewing it manually without a coffee machine. Um, there's a lot of benefits to, to doing that, but let's talk about why you would want to buy, say, whole bean versus something that you find in the store that's already pre ground. The, from the moment that a coffee is roasted, it starts losing its freshness. Um, and the longer it goes, the, 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 you know, the less fresher it is. But also, once a coffee is ground, it starts losing its, its, its freshness a whole lot quicker. And so one of the things that I ran into, and I used to be, um, I used to buy a certain type of coffee on a regular basis. In a, in a certain brand and it got to the point where it just it started tasting less like coffee and more like dirt and then I'm like well I'll just switch up brands then and so I switched brands I switched two or three brands and it, it just everyone started tasting like dirt to me they didn't taste right they didn't taste good I didn't enjoy coffee anymore and no coffee is not just coffee um, some of, young, uh, some of you younger generation um, might not have experienced this, but when I was growing up, coffee was just coffee. It's whatever mom and dad could afford, and there was nothing special about it, and, and it's just whatever they got. I don't think that they stuck with a certain brand. Some people do, um, but... Uh, I don't, I don't think they did, and I'm, I'm almost certain that they didn't stick with a certain type of flavor. They just grabbed whatever is cheaper. Say, like, if a, a can of, of coffee, a 32-ounce can of co uh, pre-ground coffee costs, like, five bucks compared to the other ones that was costing eight, nine dollars, and the, they grabbed a five-dollar one, regardless of what brand or flavor, or, uh, I'll get into flavors later on, but brand or, or, or whatever it was. Um... But so yeah, I was brought up with that copy is this copy mentality, and once my coffee started tasting like dirt, and I realized that something's got to change, I started looking to, to getting whole bean coffee, and then I started in the process. I ended up learning about doing manual pour overs. And one of the things I found through this journey was the fact that coffee is not just coffee. Uh, you can get coffee that has all kinds of different... What's the word I'm looking for? Like an extra bonus uh, flavor to it. Um, coffee, as tasting experts will call it notes, but it, it's really just what you taste when you're drinking coffee. And sometimes you can you get that taste right off the bat, and other times it's 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 on the back end. It's it's after you drink it, not in, in a couple of seconds go by, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I taste that now. And they come in different varieties. You got chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, you can get a, a caramel to a, a toffee taste to it. Toffee, T O F F E E, not coffee. Um, you can get like citrus like uh, hints. You can get floral. Um, generally speaking, I don't know how you figure it, it tastes like floral, but it, it kind of does, and with the smell of it, you can smell the floral in it. Um, berries, nuts, different types of nuts, you can, you can get hints of that, and those are based on where they were, the coffee was grown, and what elevation the coffee was grown at, what humidity it was grown at, and all the way to the end where how it was roasted. And going back to the other, uh, the pre-ground, once the coffee's been ground and it's been out for a while, even if it's in a can sealed up, it's, it's losing its freshness. As the coffee starts losing its freshness, it also starts losing those extra notes or extra flavors that you're tasting. So, that's why I, I, I started doing this whole journey of uh, buying whole bean coffee and grinding it myself and brewing it myself without an automated machine. For one thing, you're saving power. 
Well, not really, because you got the coffee grinder and the kettle. But you have more control over how the coffee process goes compared to the coffee machine. Um, but the, one of the things I've had to deal with is being on a budget while still getting whole bean coffee. Because it is a little bit more expensive in some cases than what pre ground is. And depending on where you go and, and, and where you find it at. Uh, Amazon has a lot of good prices on whole bean coffee. Sam's Wholesale so it has good prices on two brands. Um, I think that's the only two that they carry. It's their own, uh, whatever, Sam's Mark, M-A-R-K, or Sam's Choice, whatever it may be. And then they have uh, a brand called Don Pablo. Um, and they're not too bad. At, last time I went, though, uh, let's say two-pound bag was like 14 bucks or something like that. And two pounds for a single person or a single person drinking it, it could last for quite a while. Um, and we'll talk about freshness in, in, in another video um, and how to check for that. But Amazon has a lot of different um, copies that you can choose from. A lot of your grocery stores have somewhat of a variety of whole bean coffee. Most of the time, not really. You're going to end up running into where you have a whole bunch of free ground and you have to really, really search for your coffee to find the whole bean. And that's not fun. The advantages of buying from Amazon is, like I said, the variety that you can choose from. The, the disadvantage is you, there, you can't check the freshness dates, the roast dates, whatever. Um, you can't pick it up and, and, and feel it, and, and, and you can't see how the packaging is most of the time. Um, the advantages of buying it in a store, if you can find it and you find one that you like, is you can check the date on it, you can pick it up and look at it. You can see how it's packaged, and packaging makes a whole lot of difference. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's pros and cons either way. Um, and that's something that you kind of have to toy around with and figure out where you want to sit at. And don't just settle, when you first start out, don't just settle for something that that you like immediately. Try other things. And there's lots of ways to buy th uh, coffee on a budget. My advice, though, is if you... I had this phone moment, I think, um, when we first got our stimulus check. I decided to get me $50 worth of coffee. And that was the budget I allowed for myself. And I got quite a bit at that time for for what I got. I found a lot of uh, uh, bulk by where he had like three packs of the uh, 12, 11, 12 ounce bags that um, costed less than what a two pound bag would cost on certain brands. And so I, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight different bags of coffee of varying, very, uh, varying weight. Um, if you feel like you need to do something like that, and you're the only one drinking coffee, my suggestion, and I may cover this again when we talk about freshness in a different video, but my suggestion is to put them in... Um, either the freezer or put them in a the refrigerator um, don't just leave them out because the longer they sit out in, in a warmer air then they, that has an effect on the freshness as well um, but normally I would suggest if you don't need to if you don't feel the need to do that or there's not a significant cell going on, on on your coffee then what I would do is I would just buy enough that that would do you you know that, that you can make it through two pound bags for a single person um, depending on how much coffee you drink can last anywhere between two to three weeks and I would not get anything more than that um, if you don't drink coffee that much then maybe a 10 or 11 ounce bag of coffee would do you just fine um, and we'll talk about coffee ratios later on and how that affects how much coffee that, that you're using at a time when you're making your coffee but yeah no um, brewing coffee, buying, uh, whole bean coffee, grinding it yourself and, and brewing it is a whole lot of fun. 
and, and a very interesting journey and, and I've been doing this for a couple of years now and I've really enjoyed how coffee is now I've, I've, coffee again isn't coffee or isn't just coffee it is an enjoyable something that you can enjoy a whole lot and the buying learning experience and, and everything is really fun now here's the thing I want to caution you against if you go on YouTube regardless if it's my channel or somebody else's channel if you're watching how to best ways to grind coffee or how to brew this uh, your coffee um, you will find even for one single topic like say pour over you will find a whole bunch of different people saying this is how you're supposed to do it and I'm here to tell you that there's no one set hard cemented way of doing something when it comes to coffee you figure out what's best for you and you will do that through the learning process through through every time you brew coffee you'll be like eh, write it down okay this amount of coffee for this amount of water produces this I don't really like this why is it I don't like this um, or I really like this this works out really good write that down keep track of it you know at least for for a little bit for the first couple months or first few times you're doing or whatever and eventually you'll find the method that works for you don't do it just because somebody else does it don't do it just because you know like your favorite coffee shop um, that's how they do it well they they're set up to do it in such a way where they're kind of mass producing it so it's not necessarily ultimate and plus they're not doing it specific to what you like per se I mean maybe with the, the extra sugar added or no sugar added or milk you know how much milk or, or whatever else going on but as far as the copy itself goes they're not doing it specifically for you only you can tell yourself what you like and what you don't like and only you can brew it the way that you want it to be brewed so when you when you're going through this journey if you're looking at other videos pay attention to what they're saying and then take it I mean, you can take it and try it see if it's the way you like but it doesn't mean that you have to do it that way you can do it a different way and come up with a result that works really good for you so I hope you enjoyed this video and I am really excited about going down this journey with you on on coffee the freshness of it different ways of brewing it and I hope you have fun because I am <laughs>